last season. It's third versus fourth, which means Champions League football for both next month. But those four official four goal salvo in their opening fixture for 28 years of four goals so often in this fixture. Four final pass. The first one was Koulibaly. Yes, I like the uh, comes over it. Heights on it. A long time by John Terry. Forward and Kane finds him. He did well to squeeze the cross out of that. It's half volleyed it. Nice. Next. There's James again. The yeah. great A target for crosses. James who takes the free kick. Interior presence. Billy Ballet, previous number 20. Back for Havertz! And Lloris. Knew it was going across him. Go for Correa. And a chance to add to his goal. We look for the flag and it hasn't gone up. Contact. Comes to Koulibaly again. Special case. record as a manager. Waiting for the right moment and the right decision. Getting his cross in. Pull back, wing back, pull it what you will. Pull from this first half for Chelsea. Mount! Oh. He's gotten to a point where he's well within range. More energy from Tottenham. He certainly needs the goal. Oh. Oh. Be a yellow card for James. That, that's for his 19 year tenure. Jorginho. Oh. Well, it could have been two. And Ruben off the cheek has the height to reach those balls. Didn't quite perhaps. There's plenty of cause for frustration, not just that incident with uh, special moments for Kalidu Kulibali. Not trying to get forward down the left. Very little he stood no chance with the goal. Gone. Noticing yesterday, Son, and he's found Son, and tries to squeeze it underneath Edouard Mendy. That's better. Ball. Thiago Silva or Koulibaly. Still plenty of clues in the middle. In the end, wasn't <laughs> anywhere near a white or a blue shirt, but the man in yellow is almost caught in an awkward position. when it comes still going sterling big moments on the out is onside and Tottenham are in for the equalizer oh, and even harry kane seems affected by the curse of stamford bridge for tottenham hotspur in the premier league no matter how spurs are starting to try and get into this game now for ben davis and then the shot is in that's how costly it is from hoybier Tottenham have stayed in the game and now they're level in the game and now it's all kicking off in the dugout as previous in that respect. You know, he's a master craftsman, he's been doing uh, running. Done very well to get the cross in, what a cross, what a chance for Chelsea to regain the lead. A brilliant ball, a brilliant run, but it's still 1-1 one, one. Kai Havertz, so often the hero. What did you see? Martin got a really good view. And here's James! Chelsea back in front. those frustrations turn to jubilation. Who put down the touchline? James is in goal. And Chelsea show their quality.
when the tide seemed to be turning Tottenham's way. Dragged over so far to one side, almost the top of each. Score in a World Cup final. Job by the front post. Opportunity for him. Not to score, to set up a goal. And uh, Mason Mount just got the angles wrong. Norris was beaten. Hello, hello, hello. Alex. Goes again. Hurricane goal kick. Gives him away a free kick in a dangerous area. One little touch for Tottenham, and it could do the job. And it very nearly did. But there was another touch to follow. From Mendy, Ben Davis. Threw himself at it. He got the final top. Need a good corner top them here. And they've got it. They have got it. Harry Kane got the touch. And it's 2-2 in the very last moments. It was a deeper corner. The equalising goal. And it's finished. And oh. turn it all. It's only just started. In terms of dugout drama. It's been on a short fuse, really, for much of the game.